And we're back to Druid Hill here in Baltimore. It looks like Jim Myers has a one-stroke lead over Terry and Wayne. And Lewis Graniger only two strokes behind. It's going to shape up to be a great final nine here, Matt. Well, I'm sure it is, and it's been a beautiful day. A lot of great golf. I'm looking forward to it. Lewis with his signature gloves on seems to get a better grip with them. Doesn't matter what the temperature is outside, does it, John? Not at all. Here's our 2001 world champion, Jim Myers, known to be very, very long off the tee. You know, with his length like that, it seems that his taller golfers can get a lot of torque on their throw. It seems to help for the distance. This is Wayne Zink. He's one of the unheralded players in the Mad Sea, but Wayne has been a steady player for many, many years in the Mad Sea, does not make many mistakes, and you can see it because he's in the lead group here at the Maryland States. I think he'll be pleased with that. T. Roddy, one of our favorite guys in the Mad Sea. T. Roddy has done so much for disc golf for many, many years. Nice to see him playing some disc golf. Some playing some good disc golf, I should say. Right down the middle of the fairway. That was smooth. He might hit his head on the basket. On this shot, he had, it looks like Lewis pulled out a mid-range driver. It's a great upshot by, by Lewis. Wayne making the shot from his knees. Showing some skill there. Not the easiest thing to do. Jim playing out of some trouble here, a tough stance. I think that's something for, for people watching this who are just starting disc golf to learn. You know, take advantage of different positions and, and don't just always make the same shot. Use, use your body. That's it, Terry. That was Sweet fantastic. Putt. What a putt. That was great. Ah, uh, Jim. A lot of metal. Just didn't sink it. But with things being so tight here, too, those are the strokes that come back to bite you. You know, it's interesting watching these guys putt and watching them go through their, their motions and how every player seems to have their own little routine right before they release the disc. They sure do. Here's a 337-foot par-3 hole. With that deuce, Terry gets the box. Now, this hole, you know, it's over a football field long. But these guys, can they can reach this. Go to the roller, Matt. That was a great, that was a fantastic roller. Lewis does it the old fashioned way, airing it out. Let's see what Wayne's got in his bag with this hole. Sort of a tweener, you know, it could be an air shot, could be a roller. John, what do you find is the advantages of, of rolling instead of airing it out? Why did players choose to go that route? Because you can roll a lot further. Okay. And you stay away from the, the trees, I would imagine. Stay away from the trees, true, and it stays a little bit straighter, actually. But when you got Jim Myers' arm, it doesn't matter. Oh, that air bounced right into the, I thought it was going to make it, then it air bounced right into those, those branches. Terry Roddy's been playing with a little bit of a sore knee this season. Um, so he's not quite as long as he would hope to be. But boy, when you're that accurate. This hole's interesting with the road, with the out of bounds right behind the basket. The players um, are probably a little reluctant just to, uh, to gun for it. They will get that penalty stroke if they go into the road. Look at how far Jim got up the fairway on his second throw here. It's great for his second throw. How hard is that shot with the cars going by and the distraction? You know, these guys have been playing so long, Matt, that I don't think really too much is going to bother them. Although Terry is waiting for something to get by there. <laughs> ah, a flip putt. And let's take it inside the round. With Rex said, just see how you make a flip putt. Terry Body just used a little, a little uh, different kind of putt just then. You just saw him do a what some people call tiddlywinks or a, a butterfly putt. And that's done just by holding the disc up like this and then just pushing through it. 
like that. And what it does is kind of, it keeps the disc straight. You don't have to worry about your swinging it right or left. You're just releasing straight at it, almost like a basketball shot. Aim a little high in the chains and it should tuck in right in, right sweetly into the chains. That's all there is to it. All right, well, Terry Roddy puts two holes together real well, and he's got the lead here at the Maryland States. Yeah, it's really heating up as Wayne Zink and Jim Myers are tied neck and neck for second place, and Lewis is not far behind. I think he might have caught a little lettuce there. You can see Terry qu can't quite bend down with that knee but I think Lewis found a great opening there, and he's all the way around. Nice shot, Lewis. And that's the shot. They want to air it out big, big hyzer shot, get around that monster of a tree. Played a natural roll of the hill there. With this only being about 273 feet, you know, they really are, they don't want to overthrow this. Just a nice, Steady motion, follow through, and the results should be fine. And they sure are for Jim Myers, huh? Yeah, he's uh, he's going to be pleased with this if he can bang this home. That was a great drive. Good, Jim. He does. He is smooth. Shots like that that win your world championship. Our past 2001 world champion, Jim Myers from the Mad Sea. Another slippy putt there. <laughs> Why do players go that route? I would think that just puts it a extra twist and that I, I don't I don't think I find helpful. Well, that's because you haven't done it. Yeah, over and over and over again like these guys. Another short hole, 240 feet. We got a tie for the lead between Jim Myers and Terry Roddy. Still got the glove on. Kind of reminds me of a Michael Jackson thriller. <laughs> well, put... Lewis has the gloves and he's got the black uh, <laughs> outfit on that he wears. He wears that every tournament as well. So he's he's in uniform. Now he's doing a great job too. Now this is a big Anheuser shot. Just gets, here's the trick eh, here is for these guys to get this disc to, to flip right and, and get the air. So it's not the easiest thing to do for a right-handed player. A jump putt for Terry, but he gets a little tree on the side that's going to leave him with the three for par. See if Lewis can thrill us here. Oh, that's going to that help was, make up a little ground. That was fantastic. Steady as he goes. Well, it would have been a star frame if it wasn't for Terry uh, missing that putt there, but it just are, tightens it up a little bit, Matt. I tell you, they're putting on a clinic with, in the putting game, which is you know one of the harder things to do. Well, Terry gets, I'm sorry, Terry drops back to second now. Jim Myers in the lead. Another short hole, 216 feet. And we're moving on to TV Hill with this TV test.